cathode ray tube, or CRT, is really just a particle accelerator. Following the principles of an electron gun, the CRT works by electrically heating a cathode in the rear of a vacuum tube. This beam is then steered by the deflection coils, while being accelerated towards the phosphor-coated screen. The term cathode ray was used to describe electron beams before it was understood that what was emitted from the cathode was, in fact, a beam of electrons. When the electron beam hits the phosphor, it makes the screen glow. The beam sweeps the screen across and down, as shown in this animation. In a color TV, we have three electron guns arranged in a triangle. Very close to the phosphor coating, there is a thin metal screen perforated with very small holes aligned with the phosphor dots on the screen. There are three phosphors that emit red, green, and blue light. Note that the pattern of the triads in the picture does not even form a grid. This pattern, combined with a shadow mask, forces each electron beam to its respective color. Now let's talk about deflection coils. There are two pairs of deflection coils, one that deflects the beam vertically and the other one horizontally. They're simply Helmholtz coils, that is, copper windings. They create magnetic fields inside the tube. Electrons will move at a right angle to the magnetic field lines. While the real deflection yoke has a much more complex geometry, the principle behind the steering of the beam is the same. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Thank you. 